Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths Key Skill video on factorising quadratics of the form ax squared plus or minus bx plus or minus c. Now this is the last video on factorising quadratics where there is a number on front of the x squared that's not 1. So here it's 2, it's not 1. And in this particular video we're going to allow any sign. So this sign on the front of the x here, we're allowing that to be negative and the last term is negative as well. So we could have any mixture uh, within this key skill. So let's repeat the method we used in the previous videos on this, and don't worry, I'm going to go over the whole method again. So let me just write this out in big. 2x squared, well, there's implicitly a, a 1 on front of that, a ghostly 1, minus 1x, and we've got the minus 15. And what we do is, to the side, I'm going to put a little plus and a little times, and I'm going to find two numbers which add to give the middle number, the coefficient of the x here, the number in front of the x, so minus 1 and they multiply to give the first number times the last number. So 2 times minus 15 is minus 30. And sometimes this is called the AC method, because the A and C here, the A and the C are 2 and minus 15. We times those together to get minus 30. Now, at this point, we need to find these two numbers that times give minus 30, add to give minus 1. I find it helpful to write out the factor pairs of 30. So 30 could be 30 and 1, just forgetting the, the negative on the front for the moment. Do they add or subtract in any way to get minus 1? No, they don't. What about, uh, say, 10 and 3? No, they don't add or subtract in any way to make 1. What about 6 and 5? Oh, well, 5 minus 6 is minus 1. So notice, by the way, if these two numbers multiply to give minus 30, a negative number, one of these two has to be negative, because negative times positive would be negative. Now, it's going to be the minus 6, isn't it? Because when we add these two numbers to get this number here, 5 plus negative 6 is just 5. Minus 6 is minus 1. So look, these two numbers do multiply to give minus 30, and these two numbers do add to give minus 1. And then what we do is we split the middle term. And it's exactly as it's named. We're going to split this middle term here. I'm going to split it using those two numbers we found. So we've got minus 6x and we've got plus 5x. And notice that this does simplify to this. Minus 6x plus 5 lots of x would give you minus 1 lot of x. And just kind of copy what else we have here. So at the moment, this is still exactly the same as this, because that would simplify to this, but we can use this to then factorise. So the next step is to factorise each half. So I'm going to underline this half and underline this half, and then we look for common terms in each uh, pair of terms here. And we look for common factors in each pair of terms here. So let's look at this first half. What's common to 2x squared and minus 6x? Well, 2 is a common factor of 2 and 6. We can take the 2 out. And what's common to x squared and x? Well, just x. And then we put a bracket. And then think, 2x times what is 2x squared? Well, it's x. And 2x times what is minus 6x? Well, it's minus 3. And then remember, we leave a space and we repeat that bracket. We duplicate the bracket. So I'm going to write here, duplicate the bracket. Because we should find that when we factorise this, we're going to see that same bracket here as we did here. We then got to think, well, what times x minus 3 gives you 5x minus 15? Well, it's positive 5, isn't it? It's plus 5. Don't forget the plus in front of that 5 there. And you can see that 5 times x minus 3 is 5x minus 15. Now, the final step is to factorise out the bracket, and then we're done. So, what's common to this and this? Well, the bracket of x minus 3. So we factorise out the x minus 3, we create a new bracket, and then we say x minus 3 times what is this? Well, it's just 2x. 2x times x minus 3 is 2x, x minus 3. And x minus 3 times what gives you the 5 brackets, x minus 3? Well, it's positive 5. It's plus 5. And now we're done. We've got the two brackets, so this has been factorised into two brackets.